Welcome to the second part of the FL Studio Beginners class. Last week, we talked about the basics of FL Studio, all the things that you need to learn in order to make a good beat. And today, we are taking it a step further. So if you have not seen the previous video, just go back and go and watch that video. It's going to help you because a lot of things that we're going to be doing today are from the things that we learned in the previous video. So today, we're going to take it a step further. And by the end of this video, trust me, you'll be able to make a beat. You'll be able to make a banger beat. So let's jump right into the class. All right. <laughs> so in the last class, we talked about some things and I feel like it's just, um, it's just going to be amazing if I go through some things that we talked about in the last class, just for the sake of those who have not seen the previous video, but if you have not seen it, go and see it. So uh, we talked about these uh, little icons right here, these ones that we said was very, very important. We said this, this first one here is what we call the playlist. And this is where you arrange your music, right? So say you want to, your intro to be in this small little place, then your verse one to be here, and then your chorus should be here. This is where you arrange your music, right? And then we talked about this, the second one, which is the uh, piano roll. This is where you select, you, you play all those things, all those things that you hear, maybe it's drums, the keys, everything. This is the part you play everything. We talked about that in the last class. We're still going to talk more on this, just so just hold on. And we talked about this, the third one, which is this channel rack, which is like one of the most important things in making beats. Um, this channel rack is where you select every single sound that you use. Say you want to use a kick, you want to use a piano, you want to use a guitar. This is the place you select everything. So it's very, 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 very important. And the last thing we talked about on this place that is very important, on second to the last thing, is this, which is the mixer. Right, so this is where you mix. This is where you put your effects. Say you want to put effect on something, you want to put reverb, delay, all those things. On this is where you're doing. And uh, the last one we talked about is this, which is our view browser. Right, you can see it disappearing on this other side. This is where I select my sounds. So on the last tutorial, I did something, which was me dragging in a shaker. Just let me show you. So I dragged in a shaker from the view browser and a lot of people were asking, how did I do that? How did I do that? They don't have that function in their FL Studio. Now I'm going to show you, let's, let's that, let that be the first thing that we're going to do today. So in order for you to have things here that you can easily drag, uh, say for instance, I'm, I'm in I'm this place and I carry this shaker look like this, and then I drag it and drop into my play, play, playlist like this. If you want to be able to do that, all you need to do is come to your options here and then go to file settings, right? Now, see here is where the magic happens. Let's just say you have sample pack that you've bought or you downloaded online. By the way, there's lots of samples online that you can actually download to use for free. So now if you, if you, and just yes, before I forget, I'm actually working on a sample pack for you guys. So stay tuned for that. For those of you that have been supporting me for a very long time, this is your time to enjoy. <laughs> Sample pack is coming. So yeah, come here and then select one of these boxes. And then it allows you to select any folder on your um on your system, right? You can select any folder. You can like, this is where I have all my packs. Here. So this is where I have all my packs here. And you can easily just say select folder. Once you say select folder, it comes here, it's, it is registered already, and then you have access to it on this other side. So once you download a, a pack, put it in your, this is so you can easily find them here, and then you can easily use it. Right? Crazy. You can easily use it. So let's get into the main thing of today, right? Let's get into the main deal, what we, what we are here for today. We're here to actually make a bit. So like I said last week, uh, the first thing we do uh, is to come to here. No, before that, if you remember very well, I said the first thing for you to do is to set your what your BPM. So this is what we call BPM. BPM is beat per minute. It means how fast or how slow your beat is. So like I said last week, if I turn on this uh, metronome right here and then I play my my I press press play. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one. That is how fast it is. And then I can increase it, right? Or, or I can decrease it, depending on what I want to do. 
and we said most afro beat is always within the range of 100 bpm so we're going to set our bpm to 100 today so that we can make our um afro beats so like i said every single thing that we're going to be using is going to be done from inside this channel rack so the first thing i want us to do let's let's do drums first right let's do drums so we'll come into our pattern right as usual and click plus so we're going to do the first like just let's say we're doing rims first rim is kind of like snare or like a percussion right give it a nice color and then we can put it here and say this is our rim we want it to be long for say four bars right so like i said this is where we, we arrange everything we want our rim to be this long so now what we need to do is come to the channel rack and find a rim pack in my in my one of my sample pack i have I have a rim shot that I can use. So let's let's just say we use this one. Just drag and drop in the channel rack. And now we have it here, right? So all we need to do now is open what piano row. For those of you that are already that are already catching up, piano row is where we play everything, right? So you can just right click here and press piano row. Now we are in the piano row. Now I did something again last week that a lot of people were asking me because I played chords. On my MIDI controller, right? A lot of you were saying that you don't have a MIDI controller and how you can actually do like, create beats without using a MIDI controller. I'm going to show you that today. I'm going to show you how you can type in the chords and type in the notes and everything inside FS Studio. So let's just say we want to like get a small bounce, right? We can do this. All right? Catch. Hey, 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 hey. And remember I said something, we, we, we are only playing here because if you come into the playlist now, this is where it gets to, it's not playing here. And the reason for that is if you followed my last class is because we didn't say this thing to song. So we are in the pattern, pattern is for the channel rack and song is for the playlist. So once I switch it to song, now we are playing in the playlist and to play for as long as we have it. So we're opening the piano roll again. I'm going to select Ctrl A and press Ctrl B to duplicate that. So we we have it for as long as four bars now. Hey, 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 hey. So let's let's see if we can add something else. Let's add one more rim shot and just to spice it up. Hey. Right? Mm, 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 mm. Hey, hey. So we have our rim shot and then we can easily just go. Let's do what should we do? What should we do? What should we do next? Let's let's say we have let's do percussion. We can just name it, like say, just give it another name, put a color, drag it, and drop in the playlist. Drag it as long as you want it, right? So let's look for percussions. Let's say we want uh, something like this, right? We drag it and drop here. So, and maybe we have we want a conga. Let's add like a conga to it. Yeah, we can just do this. We can put it here. All right? So you can easily reduce the volume or whatever you want from here. If you, if you feel like something is too loud, you can easily pull it down here. Like this one. Nice, nice sounding. Now let's do let's do probably we we'll do kick. Let's let's do this one. We we'll drag it and drop it here. We need to come and select it. Our decent right kick, kick. Give it a nice color. Bam. So yeah, and just drag it and drop it to your playlist. Yeah. So we can come here, piano roll, and then we we'll do we we'll do the kicks. Let's just make it a constant kick, right? Hey, 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 
Hey, hey, hey, hey. So now we have our groove. Hey. So now you can easily you can easily see how like how easy this thing is. There's also a, a button here. This one here, right here is called the swing. We use it a lot. It's one of those secrets of Afrobeat that you can easily just like let me let me do it extreme way and then you see what it does. You hear? You hear how it's swinging and stuff. But you, that's obviously too much. So you want to do it like very, 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 very small. Let's just do like 15% of it. It just gives you that swing. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, Shami. Hey. So now we can easily continue from this. We have our groove now. We can do keys. And this is what a lot of people were asking me last time. I think I used I used um a sound from Muffin. Let's do Muffin this time. Um this is Muffin. And then we select a, a, a sound from Muffin. I think I used deviating keys last time. Uh, or we can use this one. I think I like the way the deviated key sound more. So let's go here. We'll go to our playlist again as usual. We'll create what? We'll create something. We'll say, let's say keys. So now we want to get keys. I'll give it a nice color, put it here, and then I drag it over. So now let's go to our muffin. You can rename it if you want here too. Let's say keys. Right? You can rename it and then open piano roll. This is where the magic happens. We select a key, let's say we are on the key of, for those of you that don't know music theory, there's actually a trick for that. I'm, I'm gonna have to like treat it in another video, but there's a trick for it. So, let's say we are on the key of uh, C. Let's do. You can copy that. <laughs> and then we can do, maybe we'll do. We'll copy this and copy it. Hey, 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 hey. Let's do. let's do. Let's do the first one we did again. We'll copy this one back here. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. And then we can do something else. For those of you that don't know music theory, don't worry, don't worry. I got something for you, don't worry. You can reduce the volume here. Hey. 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 Hey, we already have a good beat, right? We already have a good beat. Hey, I can already hear some artists like going crazy in the comment section. All right, so let's do, let's do, probably we'll do, uh, I don't know. What should we do next? Let's, 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 let's add a melody. Let's add a melody to it. Let's add citrus. We'll look for citrus. This is citrus right here. And then we can search for something. Let's see. Let's go into the wing session and just pick. Let's just pick FM flute, right? So let's say we know we know what we're gonna do again. Come here, pick flute, right? Let's give it a nice color and then drag it in. See how easy it is to make. And then we we'll open the piano roll so we can like play something. Yo, here, right here is what we call the velocity. It means how loud or how soft you want it to sound. So if you play it high like this, see how loud, play soft, it will be soft. So let's, let's create a melody. So we have a melody now. Hey. Hmm. 
Very simple, very simple melody. Easy. I'm reducing the volume a little bit. Hey, hey, hey. With this alone, you can already sing. You can already sing. I'm money can get get you. You mean you give me company I'm not saying I'm going to competition. But the get them be a competition. I wish I could sing. But that's that's the basics. That's the basic. You can from here continue to add a lot of things. Maybe you want a bass. You want any other thing you want. Like you can add the, the possibilities endless. Just make sure you don't overdo it. From here, like this, I, there's something I did. I talked about small. Small, just tiny. In the last tutorial, I didn't talk about well. So let's talk about it now. It's what we call this playlist that we are in right here. And this playlist is where we, you, you arrange everything. So let's say we, we are done making this beat, right? And then we want, we want to arrange our beat. We can say in the intro, I want these keys to come in. Hey. And then maybe we want the flute to come in at halfway. Maybe, maybe you should start from like half of the, the what we, we've done, like this. And let's let's add let's add like a shape a shaker loop to it just to make it sound more. Let's do this one. Let's just put shaker here, and then we can like maybe start it from the the, the halfway too. You see how easy it is. And then we can start doing. Maybe we'll bring all the drums in here. And then we'll do the keys. Hey. And, and then we can decide that maybe, maybe we want this to play again here. And then we'll put the flute here now. It's, it's just however you want to do it. However, there's actually an industry standard arrangement, which we're going to talk about maybe in some other class. But you can easily like just copy. Oh, and the way I'm copying, I'm just selecting everything like this with control i'm holding control shift down and selecting everything and then i'm just holding shift when you once you hold shift you can easily carry whatever you select anywhere so we'll say probably we'll add these shakers here we'll add shakers here maybe this is how we want to arrange our beats or or maybe here we can do like a small a small roll or something to just take us into into the All right. So let's listen to what we've done so far. So good. Hey, hey. We don't have bass here. We don't have pads. We don't have counter melodies. We don't have everything. But you get the idea of how to make a beat. Maybe on the next video, we'll actually make a full beat. And then we want the shaker to come in here. Hey. With this thing that I've given you, I'm sure you will be able to make a beat. I am sure, me. I'm telling you. If you follow this tutorial step by step, from where I started to where I ended, I'm sure you'll be able to make a beat from scratch to finish. So maybe in the next class, yes, I saw some of your questions. Some of you asked like, some questions. I'm going to make a separate video answering questions on the, the questions that we get on each video, right? So I'm going to make a, a video. Next video I'm going to make is going to be me answering some questions that you guys asked. And also in the next video, I'm going to try so that we'll make a full beat and then treat some of the questions that you might ask in this this um tutorial right now so like i said guys do not forget to, i'm doing this for free do not forget to support me by subscribing that's the that's the least you can do just like this video and then subscribe for me like that's all i ask <laughs> i really appreciate you so see you guys in the next um lesson and if you have any questions regarding what we have done today please do not fail to ask in the comment section so See you guys on the next one. Flip!